Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, hi, I'm Sabrina. Um, it has been a while since I have posted on this channel. Um, I run a small business called Daydream is the Label and I make crochet clothes um, and accessories slowly dabbling into doing some like sewing pieces um but yeah i used to do crochet tutorials on here a while ago um last time i posted was in 2020 so it's been a while um but i'm back now and i have some new ideas and content um and today's video I'm starting a new series which is recreating my old designs um, so today um, we'll be recreating this little Daisy granny square crop top that I made um, I think maybe back in like 2019 I made this one um, it's really cute and I love it, but it is made with acrylic yarn and, I mean, I live in Queensland. It gets very hot and humid here, so acrylic top, probably not the best for, like, a summer top. So, I did go and grab some linen yarn, which I'm really keen to work with. It's my first time trying it. Um... And one of my goals for this year is to kind of like move away from synthetic and fibers and try more like natural fibers. Um, so yeah, this is what we'll be recreating today. Um, my goal with it also with the linen yarn is to kind of have like more of a flowy effect. Whereas this one, like it is like loose and flowy, but like when you wear it, it's kind of, you know, Bit more like stiff bit more fitted whereas my hope and my goal with the linen one um will be a bit more flowy a bit more breathable and i might tweak the design a little bit as well um so yeah let's get on into it i do already have a tutorial on my channel on how to make the um daisy granny square so if you do want to you know follow along you can check out that video um and yeah let's just i'm back i went and had a quick little gardening session um because i finished my day job for the day so i thought why not get settled in for a cozy Friday evening and have a little bit of gardening. Okay, so I'm starting off with the yellow um, linen and I'm going to be making a circle which is the centerpiece of the daisy. So, starting off with the yellow and I do have a full tutorial on my um, channel on how to make these squares. Um, I'm just starting off with a chain of four. And then joining to the first stitch to make a little circle then I'm chaining up two and that's going to count as my first double crochet and I'll be doing a total of 12 double crochets so yeah I decided um, in the past like six months to you know um, rebrand and kind of jump back into my crochet and stuff because I took some time off um I got really burnt out because like a previous job that I was working I was working in hospitality and 
not very, very burnt out. This one particular job. Um, but yeah, so I decided to take some time off and crochet, and I kind of like lost my spark for it for a bit. Um, I think I got like too focused on like, because I was doing markets a lot as well. So I was kind of getting too focused on like things of like what would make me money, what's trending, like, and not really like making things that like I wanted to make that like I thought were really cool because not everyone has the same taste as me and not everyone's gonna, you know, want to buy the things that I make because I do make some very colourful pieces. Like this daisy top, like this daisy top. I don't think I ever sold, oh no, I did sell one and it was a green one, but I only sold one and I have like three or four made in like a couple of different colours um, and I have like a pair of like my shorts and then I also made this like, um, like long, maybe like frizzy um, granny square flared pants but with daisy squares but um, they never sold but they were featured in a runway um, that I, a fashion show that I was invited to participate in um, I think that was in that was in 2021 um, yeah. so I'm losing focus so I'm just going to cut to just sort of be real of me um, chilling out and crocheting and maybe I'll do a voiceover I don't know um, this is my first time kind of doing this style of video I've always been behind the camera and you've only ever seen my hands so this is a new experience and I'm a little bit terrified but that's what the gardening session was for to help us get through it um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna go watch some shows and yeah, crochet with me. squares completed. This is how it's looking so far. I'm absolutely loving the colours and the texture and it's definitely, as you can see, it's not like stained. So it's definitely like the looser vibe that I wanted which I am happy about. And I just did a single crochet 
along with top. Um, I'm going to do some scallop stitching and then I will do the straps and continue to the bottom because it's sitting, I want it to like sit maybe there and then have it sort of out so that we'll do some, you know, swish swish. Yeah, I'm loving how it's turning out and I absolutely love the texture of the linen yarn. I'm so pleased that I tried that. This is how it's looking at the moment. So I've done the straps, which was just like a chain, and then I half double crocheted down the chain, and then I also have added this like little scallop edging to just add a little bit more cuteness. So yeah, this is how it's looking so far, um, and I started doing some rows of the granny square stitch down the bottom so um, every second row I was increasing um, in the sides just to help get that extra fully effect that I'm wanting um, this is how it's turning out so far I'm just going to continue doing the granny square stitch so I've done five rows so far, so I'm going to increase my hook size to I think about a five millimeter hook I'm going to do, and then I'm going to do another five rows of increase, so doing one round of normal and then increasing on the second round on the side seams. Um, yeah, I'm loving how it's turning out so far, and I can't wait. Yeah.
this is the perfumed top which I absolutely love. I'm so glad that I added this like little leaf string to like help cinch the top in around the bust so that it blends out and has that like really nice glowing effect. I'm paired with this dress so I just get in very cottage core um forest fairy vibes which I absolutely love. I was going for something like that. So I'm so happy with how it turned out and I love the green. It's such a pretty colour. Especially paired with this top. And so here is the original. This is what the original design was like. And here's the new updated and improved one. I still have to like sew in some of the um threads because I hate leaving them on the ends. But I have done most of them on the inside. It's just the right amount of edging. Yes. And if, so I do still have some of these available, um, so if you want to support me, um, I am currently knitting, which is always very costly, so if you do want to support my small business, I do still have these available, they'll be linked in my ko-fi, so I've got this really cute pink one, I can show you, let's do a comparison. Like this pink one is still so cute. Just takes a little bit of adjusting to get like sleeves right, but it's still such a cute little top, especially with this dress. Oh my god, it is so cute. I have like a mirror behind and just like seeing myself in the mirror. I'm like, yeah, that's cute. So I do have this pink one available and I also have I also have this blue one so this one's probably like a medium to a large and this one's like a small to a medium but I do still have these available um, at a discounted price as they are old stock on my ko -fi. so if you do want to support me and my small business and help you know fund more of these videos in the future you can always snag yourself one of these at a discounted price um and yeah we just have I'll put a montage of me feeling myself in this dress in this top and dress combo um Thank you so much for joining us on this little fun adventure, little fun crochet adventure. And yeah, hopefully I'll be doing more of these. Um, comment down below what videos you would like to see in the future. And I shall see you guys next time.